Okay, Mick, uh, first competitive game of the season and first win. Just give us your thoughts on the performance. I thought the first half we were we weren't as sort of smooth as we could have been. It was a wee bit disjointed. Um, Shannon Cook has played right back and hasn't played there a lot, but. So trying to find those, the, the rhythm of things was a bit disjointed in the first half. Not just him, I think there was a few uh, players that didn't settle into the game quick. And as a team, that means we didn't settle in. So first half, wasn't really happy with that. Came in at half time and the players basically took care of it themselves. They weren't satisfied with the performance, they weren't satisfied with their decision making, they weren't satisfied with the execution. So they took care of it. We've got big characters in that dressing room now. And they come out in the second half, took control of the game, didn't really give Banger much in the second half. We give credit to Banger the first half, they were organised, hard to break down. They came out and bit at us when they, they had two tackles were going in, they were organised, hit us on the break a couple of times, they probably could have nicked one in the first half. But second half we took control, uh, knocked the ball, ball around well. I asked us to be more clinical of when we decided to go forward, you know, be patient, but then when we decided to go, go, you know, at full speed. And I think, look, happy with the second half, but not satisfied, because I know we can do better. And Kieran said to me in his post-match interview, you're encouraging him to shoot a wee bit more up. That's paid off today, so what a great goal. Look, Kieran, Kieran O'Connor, I mean, Kieran O'Connor has played in massive games. I think a 19-year-old playing in the Dogs' first team. You know, Kieran's got a, a lot of talent, and we haven't seen that come out of him yet. I think the Irish Cup semi-final and final, people's got a, a look of what he could do coming in late and changing games. I know what he can do. Um, Kieran drives up every day over the border, and you know he's, 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 he's uh, he missed a few days last week. And you know, Kieran's will be pushing to be a starting member of this team. Got quality, um, can break teams down, can dribble, can pass, and now you can see he can shoot. We know he can shoot, but he's been reluctant to. But hopefully that'll give him a bit of belief. You know, really quality player. On Tuesday night, we're in the County Anthem Shield again. Is it? Is this something we can look forward to in the rest of the season? There's going to be a lot of fixtures. Absolutely. I mean, that, I think the way the fixture list is going to fall once we get into the winter, I believe there's going to be a lot of Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesdays between cup games, league games. You know, every year there's games postponed with weather here, and then you add that the COVID. You know, our game's going to be postponed if two teams have multiple players out. We don't know. It's changing by the day. And there's no point getting frustrated by it, it's just one of them things, it's, it's part of it. And thankfully, that was part of the plan. Uh, we have a relatively big squad, a squad that has talent, quality, ability, and we're deep. You know, like today, we have a depleted squad because of the under-21s. And we had a couple of players, Paddy McLean, Robbie McDade, still coming back from knocks that they had in pre-season games. A couple of ankle tackles they took. So, we're depleted, but we're not weakened. That's the main thing. You know, you can be depleted in numbers, but we haven't really weakened. And that's the goal of having a big squad. If there is a COVID contact, we have two players are out. If there is matches postponed, if there is uh, other things that pop up, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday format, we, we're, we want to get through this congested season as well as we can. And that's why we re recruited the way we did. And it's good to get a couple of competitive games as well before the start of the league season next Saturday. We're obviously looking forward to that as well. well massive. I mean, to, to play Bangor today and Ards on Tuesday night, uh, we'll probably probably make some changes for Tuesday night to get other players in. But yeah, the, the two of our last friendlies were cancelled um, with Queens and Bandela. So those were cancelled. So this is sort of making up for it. At least we've got high level quality fixtures now that'll help prepare us for the season starting game against Cliftonville on the 17th. So yeah, I'm glad we have these games, even though it's a quick Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. You know, that, that's the way our league's going to be this year. And just a quick word on Paul O'Neill, he's been named Northern Ireland Young Player of the Year. That's just a great achievement for Paul. Brilliant. If you look at Paul's goals per minutes over the course of last season, I think he was one of the top teenagers in European football. Scored some wonderful goals. I mean, you think of the two goals against Lauren that night, the second one where he drove inside and bent it round the keeper. It was sort of a replica in the Irish Cup final, but from the opposite side where he drove inside and bent it with his left foot. Um, big goals, big moments, um, always in and around the box. And I think you saw that in Northern Ireland last night where he popped up and got two goals. But Paul, if he continues like that, I don't believe he'll be in our league for long. 
you know, I believe he's still 19. And bright future ahead of him, great lad, great family. And I think that that's one of the reasons why he's doing so well. Really competitive, hard on himself when he doesn't play well. He knows when he doesn't play well. And that's the sign of a, a player with a lot of potential because he pushes himself. If you ask him, you know, what do you need to work on? He's got an answer. So I'm delighted for him, really, really happy for him.